What's that, everybody? Boy Big Brando, and welcome to another episode of Back to Basics. Today, we're talking all about blank t shirts. Now, as a fair warning, I didn't go out and buy a bunch of different blank t shirts so I could try on and show you guys. But what I am gonna go over is the blank t shirts that I use. I'll try to find some links for you guys so you guys can order blank t shirts. And then also, what to look out for when it comes to buying a blank t shirt. Now, first things first, most of you guys already know this, but I use all style t shirts and I use pro club t shirts. I use all style because it's a standard, generic. I'm wearing an all-style t-shirt right here. This complaint department design is pressed onto an all-style 1701 t-shirt. I use the 1701 because I like the fit and feel of this thing. Does it have some cons to it? Yes, it does. One thing I don't like is the sleeves are very long. I wish they were maybe like a half inch shorter than what it is. You know what I mean? I like the cut of it, like the barrel of the sleeve fits pretty good. This is an extra large t-shirt, by the way. I love the collar. Get a little close-up look. The collar is tight, but it's also small. It's not thick, tight around my neck. I got a pretty fat neck and it's not curling over. I like it. It's a tubular t-shirt, meaning there's no side seams. So that it's one solid piece all the way around. And the length of the t-shirt is pretty cool. I wish it could be a little bit shorter, but that's not a big deal breaker for myself. So when it comes to these blank t-shirts, this is what I like and my customers like when it comes to all style. It's a very generic fitting t-shirt. If you wear extra large, Chances are you buy extra large, it's gonna fit you perfectly. You don't gotta size up, you don't gotta size down. Extra large is extra large, you know what I mean? The other company that I use is Pro Club. Why do I use Pro Club? Because my customers love Pro Club. Now, for one of my brands, I live here in Los Angeles. That brand is targeted towards people that live in Los Angeles also. People here in Los Angeles wear Pro Club t-shirts blank. They'll go to the swap meet and buy three to five blank Pro Clubs, and that's their fit for the weekend. That's their white t-shirt, that's their black t-shirt. They wear that t-shirt regardless if there's print on it or not. So when I'm selling my designs to that audience, I'm using Pro Club t-shirts because they know the fit and feel already, they know their size, they know the quality they're gonna get. Which brings me to the overall discussion of quality. People always hit me up in my comments saying, what's the best quality t-shirt to buy? I need the best quality money can buy blank t-shirt where do i buy it from help me out and i always respond back with what do you consider quality because quality is a personal preference what i think is quality is probably far from what you think is quality and what you think is quality is probably way off from what somebody else thinks is quality but a lot of people associate price with quality they associate the fit of the t-shirt with quality and they also associate the way the t-shirt feels as quality. But like I said, my customers that love Pro Club, Pro Club is a heavyweight t-shirt, one of the heaviest shirts you can buy. And my customers think that's quality, right? They think that is high quality t-shirts because they love a thick, heavy t-shirt. They're getting their money's worth. They know that thing. They know the structure of it. They understand what that t-shirt is because they wear it blank already, like I said. But let's say, I felt that this t-shirt, this all style shirt is a higher quality than the pro club shirt. And let's say I started printing those designs and selling them to the guys that like pro club out of nowhere, I'd lose my audience. Nobody would shop with me again because they're like, Hey, I used to buy your shirts because it's printed on pro club. Now you're printing on something else, which is thinner. I don't like the fit of that. Now I'm losing customers because I think this is quality over the pro club shirt. So when it comes to quality it's a personal preference it's always best to buy whatever your customers already wear so let's say you hear this video and you're like oh he uses pro club his customers love pro club i'm gonna use pro club too now let's say that you are running a fitness brand that's geared towards guys that are in the gym working out getting swole whatever it is your designs are made for the guys in the gym you're running a fitness brand and you said you want to use Pro Club t-shirts because you heard somebody like myself on YouTube talk about Pro Club. I told you that my customers love it, not knowing that our customers are two totally different audiences. So you buy Pro Club t-shirts and you print on them and you sell them to your customers and your customers love the designs, but they get the t-shirt in the mail. They're like, this is a heavy ass t-shirt. I can't wear this shit. It ain't hugging my sleeves. You know how like when people go to the gym, they want the shit like really they want to show off the results. That's what they're buying into, you know what I mean? And you're going to offer this heavyweight t-shirt that these guys think is quality, but for the fitness world, it's not quality. It's just a heavy ass t-shirt, you know what I mean? But to the fitness guys, maybe quality is a lightweight fitted t-shirt. 
to show off the muscles, right? So that's why I said it's all personal preference. All of these blank t-shirts are of quality, but they have different customers for them. See what I'm saying? So let's just break down some of these simple categories. So if we're gonna use Pro Club as the heavyweight t-shirt, we'll say Pro Club equals heavy. And then we'll use All Style as the midweight. We'll say that's mid. And then for the lightweight, we'll say, I rarely use lightweight t-shirts. People like to use Bella Canvas, they use Next Level. We'll just say Bella and Next Level. Slash Next Level. We'll just say this is the lightweight. So out of these three categories right here, this is basically bare bones when it comes to the different weights. All of these have a different fit and feel. All of them have different weights. Pro Club will be the heavyweight, heavyweight boxy t-shirt. All style is going to be the generic true to size fit and t-shirt. Bella next level, oh, I forgot an L right here. Bella next level is going to be the lightweight t-shirt. We'll say fitted thinner feeling t-shirts. All of these right here are quality t-shirts. They're all quality, they're all respected. You have to figure out where you land in this category right here of heavy, midweight, lightweight. That's what you have to figure out. What do your customers like? What do your customers want? Because like I said, if you're running a fitness brand, chances are you want a lightweight t-shirt, something a little bit more fitted. Pro Club is not gonna be a good option for you because it's heavyweight, boxy t-shirt. See what I'm saying? So buy exactly what your customers are already used to wearing. This is gonna help you figure out what blank t-shirt to go with. Another thing people do is they associate price with quality, which is crazy to me. So they think just because an all style t-shirt's like 250, that that's a low quality t-shirt. So they feel like a $6 blank t-shirt is of higher quality. Not really the case. Cause like I said, it all comes down to what your customers want. That's all that matters. Now, are these the only blank t-shirts out there? No, there's tons of other ones. There's so many other blank t-shirt manufacturers out there. And what I advise everybody to do is just order from all of these different companies, one or two in your size, whatever color you want to offer. Bingo, you try it on, you wash it, you do whatever you want. And that way you have a better idea on what you're buying into. Don't just listen to somebody on YouTube. Like I'm helping you with the information so you can start looking for these blank t-shirts. But at the end of the day, don't use something just because I use it. Because what I'm using is what my customers like and if our customer bases are two totally different people and you're putting all your faith in myself you're gonna be like man pro club sucks and I'm gonna be like hey man pro club is made for a certain audience all style made for a certain audience if you were looking for something else should have did a little bit more research and ordered up some samples that's what I did I just order a shitload of samples from people you could go to third-party suppliers like TSC and mission imprintables alpha broder I'll leave a link to that and then you just order like your size whatever color you want from all these different manufacturers, right? And then you try them on, you wash them, you press on them, you see what you like out of these t-shirts and then narrow down your decision. See what I mean? That way you make a better decision when you're buying blank t-shirts, not just going based off of whatever some guy on YouTube says, but now you're making an educated purchase based on your own research because only you know exactly what your customers want because you're the one running the brand. So for example, like, like I said, I use Pro Club, I use All Style, right? One of the biggest reasons I use Pro Club and All Style is because I could source these t-shirts locally also. So I'm buying based on convenience. All Style used to be here in Orange County and I used to be able to just go to Anaheim, go to the warehouse and pick up my order. I used to be able to place the order in the morning. By the afternoon, my order's ready to be picked up, drive over there, pick it up, easy call. Pro Club, located right here in Gardena on Rosecrans. So it's easy for me to place the order, go to Rosecrans, pick it up. That's just how it works for myself. I buy based on convenience. The reason I do this is let's say I'm pressing up some shirts, right? And let's say I run out of a certain size. Let's say I fuck up on a few shirts and I need to buy shirts in a pinch. I know where I could go to buy Pro Club t-shirts for retail. I could go to the swap meet, I could go to the liquor store, I could go to the t-shirt warehouse, pick one up in whatever size, whatever color I need to complete that order. Same thing goes for all style. Those same three locations, liquor store, swap meet, t-shirt warehouse, all sell all style t-shirts for retail. 
So I could go and buy three for nine or three for 10 all style t-shirts, come back, press them up, whatever color I need, get that order out in time. Like if I were to use like next level or something, there's nowhere around here. Even though next level is located here in Gardena also, I would have to place the order. And what if it's a weekend and their warehouse isn't open on the weekend? I gotta wait till Monday to get my shirts? Nah, I'm stuck in a pinch, right? So when it comes down to that, I buy based off of convenience, meaning whatever I could get my hands on the quickest. I make sure I have other options to get t-shirts from just in case shit happens. Because if I just said, all right, I'm only gonna use, I don't know, Anvil. I'm only gonna use Anvil t-shirts and I don't have nowhere else to buy Anvil t-shirts besides online. Pretty much asked out if I don't just order a shitload every month, you know what I mean? So I make sure I have them in stock because when I'm doing orders, I don't stock navy blue t-shirts, you know what I mean? And say the order consists of 80 navy blue t-shirts. And out of the 80, let's say that 72 are cool and then the other eight I fuck up on a mess up, I press something upside down or crooked or whatever the case is. Now I need to replace those eight t-shirts. I need to be able to go get those eight t-shirts the next day or that same day to get that order out in time. So that's why I use those two brands. One, my customers love them. Two, it's convenient for myself. I could source them wherever. So when you're buying blank t-shirts, keep that in your mind, right? You might order some crazy blank that you're like, oh, this thing is cool. But if you don't order enough or you don't over order for spillage or whatever it is, then you might be stuck with that order. And then you might have to tell your customer, well, I could send you out 72 of the shirts, but the other eight, I'm going to have to wait three days till they get shipped in because I made a mistake and this and that. To avoid all that, I just use the stuff that I could source locally, all right? Now, some people might not live in Los Angeles. Some people might not live where there's a fashion district where you could go out and buy blank t-shirts like that. So if the only place for you to order t-shirts or get t-shirts on hand is like at Hobby Lobby or Joann's or Michael's, so be it. They carry Gildan. I think some of them carry Bella. Use those t-shirts, right? So then now you can order Gildan or you could order Bella. And then if you get stuck in a pinch, you could go to Michael's or Hobby Lobby or wherever it is to pick those things up. This is just the way that I do things. This helps me keep the flow of work going. And this also gives me peace of mind operating this way, knowing that I have other outlets to pick up shirts. If I have to buy for retail, I buy for retail. But if I'm ordering them online or if I'm placing an order direct from the manufacturer, I'm buying them wholesale. But shit happens. We make mistakes. We mess up. I press stuff upside down all the time. Sometimes I press stuff crooked. I'm not going to give that to the customer. So I got to make sure that I could get that job out in time. So remember, when it comes to quality of a t-shirt, personal preference. What do you want out of that t-shirt? Do you want it to be a soft feeling t-shirt? Then you would be looking at like ring spun cotton or maybe a 50-50 blend. I don't use those types of t-shirts, but it doesn't mean that it's a bad option. Some people like soft feeling lightweight t-shirts. Ring spun cotton, 50-50 blend. 50-50 is just half polyester, half cotton. It's a soft feeling t-shirt and it's cool. Too thin for myself to wear, so I don't like that t-shirt because I don't want my nipples poking out. I just don't like the way those thinner t-shirts fit my body. So I stay away from it. I use all style because it's generic, true to size fit. I use the 1701. 1301 is a really generic t-shirt that a lot of streetwear brands used to use. Some of them still do to this day. Very very generic fitting t-shirt. Regular jersey cotton has kind of a heavier, rougher feel, but a standard t-shirt. Chances are you probably have all style 1301s in your closet from different brands and you don't even know it, but that's what it is. A lot of brands use it, very popular t-shirt. Then heavyweight pro club. There's also Shaka, there's Profile. There's a lot of different heavyweight t-shirts, which are cool, but again, Super heavyweight cotton, very heavy t-shirt, boxy fit, tight ass collar. So if you're into that, check it out. I'm gonna leave links to some blank t-shirt spots to order from. It helps if you have a reseller permit. I'll try to find some where you don't need a reseller permit, but having your reseller permit helps opening accounts direct with the manufacturer, stuff like that. Sometimes manufacturers might have distro warehouses in your local community and you didn't even know. So hopefully this information helps somebody out out there when you're thinking of blank t-shirts. Make a list of what you like out of a blank t-shirt. The way it fits, the way the collar is, the way the sleeves are, how long it is, get very detailed. And then order t-shirts from all these different manufacturers. Test them out, see what you like. You could try out Bella, Next Level, All Style, Pro Club, Anvil, Hanes, Optima, there's a bunch of different blank companies out there, man. But figuring out what you want and what you wanna offer is gonna be key to you ordering blank t-shirts, all right? Remember, don't just listen to somebody on YouTube. Do a little bit of research on your own so you can figure out exactly what you want out of a blank t-shirt to make a better educated purchase, all right? Hopefully this information helps somebody out out there. Did, let me know in the comments. Follow me on Instagram, Big Brando TV. Catch you guys on the next one, man, yeah.